What's up ladies and gentlemen, I am Laughing Coyote, this is LCT10 and we've got a Group B fixture today. Alright, match number 18 in the Group C it is, it's Southport Sweat versus Multan Warriors. The Warriors are not having a great time at the moment and uh, they need desperately to win this game. They've got zero points so far so they have to win this. There are the two lineups. I mean, if you look at that lineup, they've got an amazing lineup, but I don't know why it's just not clicking. The team is not gelling together. There's an away game for them, so it's going to be a bit difficult. But they have to do it. Ajinki Arahane captaining Southport Sweats and ABC de Villiers captaining Multan Warriors. All right, it's heads. Multan Warriors have won ABC. What will you pick? You will pick... Bat first, all right, so they've chosen to bat first. It's pretty, uh, pretty good teams, both of them. Jimmy Neesham to open the bowling for Southport. First up, he bowls short, and Markram plays a nice hook, gets a single off it. That's way too full. Cameron Ackman plays it nicely into the extra cover. It's running away, that's gone, actually, that is. I love his cover drives. They're so classy and so effortless I mean look at that he wasn't even looking at the ball and it's gone four runs yep. let's bowl that one a bit short let's play it that one so nicely Cameron Akmal he loves that hook shot it's one of his favorite shots and it's gone for four as well two boundaries of two deliveries let's bowl short again he's been pulled away again but this time straight to a fielder just for a single that's ten runs off the over still one delivery to go not a great start for Nisham Pulled short again, that's pulled away ever so nicely. Come on, Cameron Akmal loves playing the pull shot. Have you not gotten the memo yet? He's been playing for a very long time. Granted, he's not played on international level for that for quite some time now. But he has still played in the PSL. Come on, watch some tapes. You are professionals, be prepared. <laughs> Neil Wagner, he pulled short again this time gets away with it though can he bowl a maiden here oh he's missed his length that was a bit too full it's not gonna go to the boundary though I don't think all right that's just two runs from that that's still a very good over not a maiden but still very good oh that's a lovely shot there's a fielder there though has he cleared him yes oh is that a six it looked like it landed on the rope yes it has that's given a six so that's six number 45 First of the innings for Cameron Akmal. He moves on to 19, just one short of 20. Yep. He's pulled that one away as well. Oh, that's gone for four. Two back-to-back -back boundaries. That's lovely. Cameron Akmal is one of those dangerous players. He doesn't always score, but when he is in his groove, he's very hard to stop. It's way too wide. Cameron Akmal is not going to let those ones go. That's gone. Four runs. Peflik, why you always got a nick, but that is, <laughs> talk about luck. Not only was that a nick, but that's gone straight down the middle of the two fielders, right in the middle, split them perfectly in that tiny gap and onto the boundary for four. Oh, that's a no ball and he's gone straight down the ground. It's gonna go to the boundary for four. And it's a no ball. She's going to have to ball that one again. And it's going to be a free hit. Pefla Cuello is not having a great time out there. It's very short. He's pulled that one away. It's going straight to the fielder though. And we'll just pick up a single. The lander. Oh, that's a lovely delivery. Cameron Ekma looking to heave that one away. But Philander had other plans for him. Pretty good comeback. He's done well so far. Last delivery. It's been put away by Cameron Akmal. That's gone. One bounce over the road. Four runs. Lovely jubbly. Oh, he's nicked it. He's gone. Aiden Markham's gone. Pafliqueu strikes. First wicket of the day for him. And it's Markram. It's the fellow South African he's gotten out. Pretty good bowling from him. It's a bit expensive in the first over, but it's made a good comeback. It's got no wicket here. 
It's a lovely take from the wicket keeper as well. Pretty good stuff. And Markham, he wasn't looking in very good neck today. 11 runs of 16 deliveries. That's not acceptable, not in the T10 at least. Xavier de Villiers, the skipper's out there in the middle now. That's number three. Ooh, that's short again, and he's pulled it away. Told you, he loves that shot. Any opportunity he gets, he's gonna take it. Goes full. De Villiers smashed that one away. He's been amazing for Multan so far in this tournament. He's batting with an average of over 30 and a strike rate of over 200, which is very good in a T10. And Mitchell Santon has been brought into the attack now. It's lovely from Kamran Akmal. He's looking in very fine neck today. He moves on to 48, just two away from his half century. He's been good too for Multan, you know. He got a half century, I think, in the first game for Multan. I just don't know why Multan has not been able to get the wins because they've got a pretty solid squad. Yeah. Oh, he gives himself a bit of room. He pushes that into the offside. He's found the gap. It's not going to race away to the boundary. That ball slowed down tremendously. Oh, that's close. Oh, wow. The weight keeper just chose not to. Doesn't matter, though. Kamran Akmal got his half century. 51 of 30 deliveries, another one for him. That's uh, 50 number two. And uh, hey, there we go, A.B. De Villiers. Lovely shot. Takes a step to the side and boom, four runs. Oh, he's hit that one straight down the ground. He's cleared the inner circle and that's gone four runs. That's very good from Cameron Akmal. He's looking in fine, Nick. If you let him keep going, he will keep going. He has gotten a couple of hundreds in the PSL. All right, that's what I'm talking about. You cannot allow him to free his arms because he will make you pay. And he's done just that, look at him. He's not even bothered. It's just every day's work for him, nothing special. Short. And there's a fielder, but I think he hasn't beat. Yes, he does. He moves into double digits now. A.B. De Villiers, and he's batting with a strike rate of way higher than 200. And that's what I'm talking about. This Mothan side is so strong, but I, I just don't understand how they're not able to win. I guess they're not gelling as a team. All right, he goes straight down the ground. A.B. De Villiers this time. That's gone four runs. He's not stopping. <laughs> it is Mr. 360. The entertainer. And he's entertaining us really well. Neil Wagner had a very good first over. But he will be bowling the last over of the innings. And to a two well-settled batsmen. Let's see how he does. First delivery, it's a dot. Lovely start. Pertinent that they finish strong as well. That's a very good shot from Cameron Ackman. That's a four. Don't run after that one. Save your breath. That's gone. Second last livery. Oh, he's absolutely smashed. Cameron Akmal stumps out. 64 is gone for. Boom. Both the stumps out and about. Cameron Akmal's brilliant innings finally comes to an end. And quite a delivery that was from Neil Wagner right in the spot. needed something special to get rid of Kamran and Neil Wagner delivered it's JP Dumini coming in now Wagner to Dumini last ball of the innings it's a short one and it's a dot all right 94 is what they've scored but lost of just two wickets it's a pretty good total we've seen a similar total being defended so it can be defended but will Multhan finally make a comeback into the series, a late comeback, but a one very much required for the Multhan boys. They needed, they have to. Kamran Akmal did his best to uh, make sure their bowlers have enough runs to defend. And uh, A.B. De Villiers, although he only scored 17, he scored a very few deliveries, so he's done his part as well. Ross Taylor and, and Ajinkya Rahane, two very experienced, very classy batsmen to open the batting for Southport. And Shaheen Shafridi, the youngster, to
to open the bowling for Multan. Here we go. First delivery to Rahane from Shaheen. It's just a dot. Oh, gets a bit of movement there, but he's given a bit too much room to Rahane. Rahane does not need too many excuses to swing his bat. He's played a lovely cut shot, and he will pick up three runs there. It's very good running. They have picked up three. Go short. And Taylor's put that one away. Is that the first boundary of the innings? I think so. Yeah, it's gone. Four runs. He's pulled another short one, and he's pulled that one away as well, right between the two fielders. And that's four. Lovely jubbly. It's given him a bit too much room. And Taylor's put that one away. That's gone for four as well. All right, Southport have had a pretty good start, pretty decent start to their innings. Have to make sure. Oh, that's a very good shot. That is a very good shot indeed from Rahane, the skipper. And it's gone to the boundary for four. But I was just about to say they have to make sure they get a... I mean, they've got a great start already, but they have to make sure they keep going. They have to make sure they have a good middle and end. Because that's where most innings imperil themselves. Because they start off good. They don't end so well. Patrick Cummins. All right. It's given her a bit of room as well, and Ross Taylor plays a, a similar shot again. Gets four runs forward, he's loving it. Come on, bowling is first. Oh, what a catch! First delivery gets a wicket, and it's a Jinky Rahane, the skipper. It's a big wicket. What a catch that is, though. That requires some super reflexes. An amazing athleticism. Look at that. That's not easy. That's blown my mind right there. Boom! was ready for it. He was waiting for that one. A jinky Arahane. Thought he was going to get four for that. Instead, he's gone. Not a great innings from him today, but it's all right. That happens to the best of us. Rahman, all right. Gives him just enough room to free his arms, and Tom takes full advantage of it. That's gone. Four runs only of his second delivery. Goes full again. And this time he's played it straight into the hands of the fielder. Tommy is gone. Rahman gets another. It's lovely bowling from him. He baited him. He's hit him for a boundary prior to that delivery. So he knew if he bowls there again, he's going to go after him. And the trap worked perfectly. Andre Russell took the catch. And Tom is gone. Turahman's trap. Look at that. He's getting quite a bit of movement with those fuller deliveries. And although he did get put away with one of those, he got a wicket with the second one. Mohamed Nabi's the next batsman coming in. And he has yet to get off the mark. We want to see him get off the mark because he is a very exciting player to watch. But Patrick Cummins is coming into ball now. We'll be bowling to Ross Taylor, who's played that one very nicely, straight down the ground, and that's gone for four. Yeah, there we go. Four runs. Cummins. Yorker, he's got. Oh, it's a no ball. It's a no ball. The in swing, and Yorker does the trick. He gets the wicket, but it's a no ball. Not only is that not a wicket, he has to ball that one again. And this one is a free hit. Which means he cannot get a wicket on it. He gives up a single. That's pretty good. But wow, not like this. Oh my goodness. Pat Cummins is kicking himself for that. Got a wicket on the no ball delivery. Oh, and he's been pulled away for a boundary as well. It's not helping him. He's not helping him at all. And look at him. He's furious with himself. He does not like it one bit. It's a short delivery. He's pulled it away ever so nicely. There's a fielder, but I think he's beaten him. Oh, yes, he has. That's very good from Muhammad Nabi. He's uh, finally getting some runs in this tournament, and it's good to see. He's given him a little bit of room, and that's all that was required. As he puts that one over the inner circle. And it's gone four runs. He's looking in fine nick now. He's uh, looking to make up for all the missed opportunities he's had so far in this tournament. Rahman is getting quite a beating of this one. Oh, and it continues. That's a very good cut shot. He split the fielders perfectly right down the center. And it's gone. He's looking in fine nick today. 
All right, that's another boundary. All right, four boundaries. That's 16 runs. That is very poor from Rahman. Bolt short and he's put it away ever so nicely. Muhammad Nabi, he's feeling it today. Mo and Ali comes into the attack now. Shaheen Shafridi goes full. Taylor smashes him straight down the ground and that's four runs. Taylor is playing a very important innings. He's not only scoring at a high rate, but he's also keeping his wicket, which is very important. That's short. He's pulled it away. There's a fielder on the rope. I think he's beaten him, though. Oh, yes. Oh, no. It's slowing down quite a bit. And there's a bit of a mix-up, but... <laughs> All right. They're home, alas. He's bowling short again. He's spashed that one, but straight to the fielder. Yeah? And I don't know why he's diving the batsman. <laughs> but uh, I guess he wants to be sure. Last ball is over. Oh, and it's a four. That's gone. That is gone. No need to run after that one. That is four runs. That is very well played. Required 20 in 12. Well, they require 16 now of 11. First delivery. He's absolutely smashed it. Morning, Morkel. Oh, ball's in the same area. Navi goes after it again. He moves into 30 with that, and now they only need 12 runs of 10 deliveries. Morning, Morkel is making it quite easy for them. Mohamed Nabi never looked in doubt the moment he came into bat. He wanted to do some damage from the very first few deliveries. Look at that. That's a swing and a miss. But the intent is clear. He does not want to leave that to the last over. He wants to finish it here, and he can. He's only got 12 runs, which he can... Yeah, there you go. Make it eight. <laughs> eight runs required now of eight deliveries, and it's a 50 partnership up. I think it's safe to say... Southport have won this one and that's yet another loss for Multan but it's not over yet though anything's possible oh way too much room that's gone four runs now they all they need is two runs just two runs of seven deliveries will they finish it off in this over or will this extend to the last over we're about to find out Oh boy, quite a beating Mohamed Nabi is delivering today. He's in some mood. 38 he's on. Lovely innings from him. And that's short, that's put away, and that's game, set, and match. That's that. All right, lovely. Very well played from the Southport Sweats, who have won this game by eight wickets. And Multan Warriors, yet again, They've lost. Congrats to uh, Robbie Elms, the owner of Southport Sweats. Commiserations to Ahmed um, Ijaz, who's the owner of uh, Multan. He's not having a great uh, league. Cameron Akmal gets them out of the match though for his lovely 64 of 39. And uh, the Sweats have won by eight wickets, quite comfortable in the end. There's how it went down. Multan Warriors batted first. They batted pretty well. Aiden Martin got 11, 64 of 39 for Cameron Akmal. 17 of only five deliveries for the captain. A.B. De Villiers not out. J.P. Dumini got, got to face one delivery but could not score any runs. 94 is the total they scored, which is pretty good at the time. Well, it looked pretty good at the time. But a loss of only two wickets. And here are the bowling figures for Southport Sweats. For the most part, they did really well. Three bowlers in particular, Jimmy Neesham, Wagner, and Philander. Very economical, with Wagner picking up a wicket as well. Pafakwayu, who was not very economical, got a wicket as well. Then the Southport Sweat came out. And a total that looked a bit difficult to chase down became quite easy. Jim Karahane got only 11. He couldn't really get going, but Ross Taylor... He smashed it all over the park. 36 of 23, not out. Tom couldn't really get going either, but then a, this man, Muhammad Nabi, came out. And he, it changed everything. It literally made a very difficult game a very easy one. 42 he scored of only 19. It remained not out. 
95 runs total with the loss of two wickets. Here are the bowling figures. Muin Ali, very good. One over, one run. Rahman got two wickets, but he was quite expensive. Cummins was okay. Morkel was really expensive. And Chan Chafridi was quite expensive as well. Here are the stats for Group B. Highest wicket taker is Dan and Jared Silva with Sandeep Lamuchane right behind him and Imran Thahir with three as well. So those three are tied for top spot with three wickets. Jofra Archer with two right behind him. And A.B. De Villiers is the top run scorer with Sean Marsh right behind him. Ross Taylor right behind him as well. And that's just... It's just... <laughs> I feel bad for him, you know, A.B. De Villiers, because he's done well. He's done really well. He's got an average of 48. He's got a half century as well. He's playing at a strike rate of over 228. But he's just not able to win. They're not out of it yet, though. They can win the last three. If they win the last three games with a good net run rate, they can still make it. But here's how the table looks. The group uh, B... Kathmandu leading with Titans right behind them. Both got four points because they've won both their games. Sweats have lost two games, won one game. So they've definitely got a chance. And then Multan have lost all three of their games, but they've still got a chance. All they've got to do is win three games in a row. A team like that should not have a problem winning three games in a row. But I somehow doubt they will make it through. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And also, I'm doing, um, I will be doing the BBL prediction videos as well, as per usual. And I'll also try and make a video to show you guys how to get the BBL kits because obviously the uh, official kits are not in the game. So you can expect a tutorial soon. It's pretty much the same thing, but I'm going to do it with the BBL teams instead. The same thing as, you know, the previous video. Because I know there are a lot of people who still do not know how to do that. So I'm going to make a, a, a new video. And, um, yeah. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...